In this tutorial, I'm going to tour Affinity Designer, a program that offers truly professional graphic design on your Mac. Let's get started. When you launch the app, you'll see a selection of samples created in Designer. These sample documents give you a feel for what is possible in the application and for you to look at how the artists have achieved things. I'll choose this sample. You can get back to the samples at any time using the Help menu's Welcome option. OK, let's maximize the view, zoom in a little, and get comfortable. At the top of your workspace, you'll find two toolbars, the Persona toolbar and the Main toolbar. The Main toolbar keeps all those important options at hand, including Defaults Control and Standard or Retina Viewing modes, along with object controls for ordering, transforming, aligning, snapping, combining, targeting. A set of icons on their own toolbar provide one of the key concepts of Affinity products, personas. Personas switch the set of tools or functions available to you for different design objectives. The Draw Persona, shown as default, offers a tool-rich, vector-based drawing environment. Jump over to the Pixel Persona and you've now got pixel-based editing of your vector design using brushes, retouching tools and pixel selection tools. Use Export Persona to output layers, groups, objects or regions as graphics. By the way, keep an eye out for new Persona icons appearing on the Persona toolbar over the app's lifetime. When jumping between Personas, you should see the available tools change on the Tools panel. This panel's tool sets dynamically change depending on the currently active Persona. All the commonly used tools are hosted here, ordered to optimize your workflow. To keep your tool options always at hand, Designer provides context toolbars. The options change with the type of tool selected. It's definitely worth taking a look at the hint line, which suggests some very useful time-saving keyboard shortcuts. Let's quickly look at panels. Color, swatches, line and brushes panels are available along with the all-important Layers, Effects and Styles panels. Transform, History and Navigation panels complete the set. Before moving on, Export Persona offers two unique panels. Export Options panel for your preferred export settings. Slices panel for selectively exporting your graphics. You may like to try a different layout, either by jumping into separated mode, showing floated toolbars, panels and page area, or by customizing your panel layout. Any panel group can be collapsed and then expanded again, great for preserving precious space. Individual panels can also be undocked, repositioned, sized, snapped together, and redocked. Well, that rounds up this tutorial. We hope you enjoy using Affinity Designer, and thanks for watching.